show you this specific uh, article. Michael, Josh, what? I'm sorry. I'm going to show you this specific article uh, highlighting how you have a leader in Bolivia that has recently been overthrown. And so there's a lot of different kind of human rights groups and individuals throughout the world that are condemning what happened here. So this guy, uh, Evo Morales, he was forced to resign just yesterday under threat from the Bolivian uh, military. So keep in mind, when we talked about Salvador Allende, uh, we talked about this around 9-11, how he was the leader in Chile who was socialist and he was overthrown. This is the same kind of idea. And this article is highlighting that the US actually they questioned him as a leader. And they kind of supported him being overthrown. So it's just going into that. But that begs the question, like when it comes to interfering in other countries' politics, like what should happen to nations that do that? Countries that go in and try to like overthrow the leaders in other countries. Like what should the rest of the international community do about that? Yeah, Harrison. No. Really, it depends on Good what's, training. what thing the leader of that country was doing at that time. If it was like Hitler or Stalin, if it was like Hitler, where he had, where you see this good man turn into, have his intentions turn bad and do horrible things, then you definitely would like, to, you definitely would have to do that. Now I'm not saying I support Hitler, because I don't support whatever he did, because I don't think killing innocent lives would make a difference. But it's the same thing like abortion. But honestly, um, it should be in certain circumstances. If you had, to, if you had to over, like get him out because okay. he's doing something horrible, then then that would make sense. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. So saying the leaders should be overthrown for doing something bad. So. With this uh, topic, there's kind of an idea out there that's like might equals right, that it's like the most powerful individuals in the most powerful countries are usually not going to be challenged or questioned on this. They get away with those types of things. Okay, we'll plan on seeing you next time. Thank you, Mr. Kendall.